Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, August 2nd, 2019. I'm the Drunk Poker. It is beer time. It is International Beer Day. The hits just keep on coming this week. Yesterday was IPA Day. Today is International Beer Day. I'm going to drink a decidedly not international beer right now. I'm going to drink a very, very local beer to me, close to my heart. Um, I work about five minutes from Nickelbrook in Burlington. Uh, Nickelbrook was one of the first craft breweries I ever visited. And one of the first I got to know, you know, the people behind the scenes. Uh, Mr. John Romano and the team there, Tony and everybody. Uh, you know, I really enjoy going there. And I go there probably once a week now because I pick up headstock, fresh headstock. That's not the beer we're going to talk about today. Naughty neighbor. Naughty neighbor has sort of been revitalized, let's say. Now, the beer's still the same. 38 IBUs, 4.9%, Cascade, Centennial, and Citra hops. Um, but the label has changed. Now, the, 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 I'm really digging this. This is 10th of July. That's pretty fresh. Like two weeks, three weeks old. Nice. Um, they've changed it to a roller derby girl from the sort of, um, I don't know, the, I almost said goth. It's, it's not goth, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. That sort of the sexy lady. This is, uh, they sponsor the Hamilton City Roller uh, Derby team. Hammer Girls. I don't know, Hammer Town. I mean, I've called them Hammer Girls, but... Uh, and I guess they kind of took that inspiration here and went with it, and I, I like it. I think I think it's a proper, a proper change. Um, it's it's not using sex to sell the beer. It's kind of, you know, it's 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 a woman doing a thing. I honestly don't know, but I don't have. It's it's not up to me. I guess is what I'm saying. You know, I live in I live a pretty easy lifestyle. I'm a middle aged white guy. Everything everything's about me. So when people tell me that this uh, label is problematic, and these are my friends who I love dearly, when they tell me something is problematic, I take them seriously. Um, but yeah, so they've changed it. I'm happy because I can buy it, and, and I feel okay with it. I, I like this change. I think this is a positive change. And you know, kudos on Nickelbrook. I mean, they changed the headstock label a bit too. They they built that new tap room. It's beautiful. They are constantly, you know, looking to reinvent and make new beers. And not just the sours that we've come to know them for, but still dropping new IPAs every once in a while. So to Nickelbrook for, for you know, listening and, and, and talking to the people and making the changes. And I'm happy about that. I'm, it's International Beer Day. I mean, I have to work for 14 straight days in a row, but damn it, the second one is really good. Cheers. I haven't had this beer in a long time. Damn, that's good. 4.9%. Um, it's one of the better pale ales. And it's an old school pale ale. It's toasty, uh, toasty malt body, which helps keep that mild bitterness down at the back. But it's grapefruit, mango, uh, pineapple. I mean, it's beautiful. Piney on the back end, dry and piney on the back end. Not ridiculously, you know, hot bomb. It's still bitter. It's a pale ale. It's a beautiful, beautiful pale ale. I forgot to tell you the sniff because I got so excited. And it's basically the same damn thing. Grapefruit. And the mango and pineapple in there, so that that's good news today. And the better the be, the better news is that I can drink all four of these tonight and relax in the grotto, even though I got to work tomorrow. Beer never takes a day off, my friends. Beer never takes a day off. Cheers to Nickelbrook. Cheers to the long weekend. I hope you're having a good one. I got to open the other one now. Praise be.